Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's so exciting for you guys to join me today. Now this, you probably already know, is going to be about me dyeing my hair again, but this time with apple cider vinegar. So I thought I'd do another hair dyeing video for you guys because I know a lot of you like my videos like that. I love you subscribe from my turmeric hair video. So I know that's what you're interested in. Many of you said that like if you had black hair that you found that the turmeric one didn't show off as well. So hopefully using this apple cider vinegar one it will help to lighten your hair a little bit better. Now again, it depends on your hair type. So it's what may work like with for some people with natural ingredients to dye their hair. Maybe it won't work on other people's hair. So it's really just a lot of trial and error and seeing what works for you. So it's great just to try a lot of different things, different natural hair dyes out there that you guys can experiment with, like I'm doing now, and just try and see what works for you and your hair and what you find just turns out the best. I am doing a henna hair dyeing video in the near future. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. I'm very excited to share this one with you guys. Henna I think has been the most successful for most people in dyeing their hair because it shows up a lot more so I'm really excited to try that. So fingers crossed it works really well. But, uh, yeah anyway, <laughs> moving on to this video. So what I've done here is just filled up a spray bottle with some apple cider vinegar and water. So as you can see, you can see the apple cider vinegar quite strong. But basically I just filled it up three quarters of the way with some apple cider vinegar. And then the rest of the way was just with some filtering water. So that's basically it. So now it's all ready to spray. I usually just shake it up just before I go to use it. And this was actually recommended to me by Zaynab on Instagram. So thank you so much for sharing this recipe with me. I'm so excited to try it out and test it and see how it goes and to share the experience with you all. So yeah, huge shout out to Zaynab. I really appreciate you sharing this awesome hair dyeing technique with me. I have a few other recommendations from you guys on Instagram, which I'll be testing out in the near future as well. So do stay tuned. I feel like my hair is like this big experimentation. I just like experimenting with different colors and seeing what works. And eventually I want to try and see if I can dye my hair blue naturally. But that's in the way, way, way further future when I can find a natural blue hair colorant to use, which would be exciting. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know if blueberries do. It makes sense though, but they're more purple. They're called blueberries because they're blue. <laughs> anyway. So it's really easy to use this technique. All you do, so if you want to do your whole head, don't mind my hat hair. <laughs> all you do is you would spray it all over onto the parts of your hair that you want to lighten. I'm going to try it all over. You can even just do the ends and see how it goes for you as like a little tester to see how it goes. But I don't mind trying it. On majority of my hair just spray it all over then you sit out in the Sun for a minimum of 15 minutes to ensure that the sunlight helps to kind of bleach and lighten your hair in a natural way you can do that with lemon juice as well I've heard by using lemon juice and sitting out in the Sun it does a similar trick as well so I'll be doing that I'll probably be sitting out in the Sun for about an hour because it's winter and it's cold and I love the Sun so I'm going to be doing that probably read or something in the meantime and then you leave it in after that for a few hours so you want to let it sit on your hair for a three hours or more and then just rinse it out with water so no shampooing or conditioning and then she recommended on the third day you can shampoo your hair and condition it and yeah so I'm going to be doing this for the next seven days to see how it goes so fingers crossed it worked well so let's get started let's get it started huh. I didn't pick my day well I feel like I should have washed my hair to before this because my hair is gonna look super oily in three days time but oh well Ooh, that's strong. Smell that apple cider vinegar. So this one's important to do over a few consecutive days. So if you're don't, going to try this apple cider vinegar hair dye lightening trick out, just make sure to do it over a few days because it won't just work if you just do it once and leave it and that be it. You won't notice, I don't think, much of a change at all. It needs to be over a few days. Same with the lemon juice trick. You need to woof, spread that in my, almost in my eye. Now I'm presuming you don't need to spray the whole thing. So I'm just going to do it until my hair is quite saturated. I'm going to be smelling really strongly of apple cider vinegar for a while. Thankfully it fades as your hair dries. There we go. It's pretty much saturated. I'm going to go sit out in the sun for about an hour or so. But like I said, you guys only need to do it for 15 minutes. It's like a minimum. Again, huge shout out to Zainab. Thank you again for this awesome recommendation. Thank you all for your cool suggestions. And for letting me know how it went for you when you guys tried out the turmeric hair dye or the beetroot hair dye. It's been so awesome hearing your experiences. It just means so much that you guys tried it out for yourselves and see how it goes for you. It's awesome to see that. So yeah, I'm going to go outside and sunbake for a little while. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Hey 
you guys so it is day two and as you can see not much has changed except that my hair is now oilier <laughs> so i was like ah oh. so thankfully tomorrow i can wash it because that will be day three and i'll do it tomorrow night at the end of the day so i've let it sit and it's kind of helped to lighten it i don't think you can see too much difference since yesterday i think it's still pretty dark so i'll go out there again and hopefully it will start to compound and my hair will start to look lighter. So I'll spray some on. Really just soak my hair and not apple cider vinegar. I'll whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> Soaked to the skin. I'm going to go sit outside again for another hour. I quite like it out there. It's so nice in the sun. And just let the sunlight hit my hair and hopefully the brightening will start to happen. So as you can see, it's a little bit cloudy today, but yeah, so it's not too much sun, so I'm not sure how it will go in lightening my hair. It hasn't changed too much that I can see, but at the end I'll do a comparison photo and just see how it goes in terms of maybe it lightens it a little bit. But at the moment, yeah, it's lightened it a little bit there. At the moment it's not too much, too much difference happening. So we shall see in a few days. I think there's four days to go, but tonight I can actually wash my hair and clean it, which I'm really excited about, finally. So I'm just going to sit out here for about half an hour today because it's a little bit chilly and there's not as much sun. So maybe it won't be as effective today, but we'll give it a go anyway and see how it goes. It's been cloudy all day, so it's not been too much sun to sit in. So like, fingers crossed it works. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully you can see a little bit more of a difference if it's worked today. Otherwise, we'll just keep going until the seventh day and see how it goes. So we're on to day four now. It's getting exciting. I still haven't noticed too much of a change. I just sprayed the apple cider vinegar spray on again so it's still damp. So you might not be able to see it. But you can sort of see a slight, very slight kind of lightening in my hair, mainly at the back. Um, but other than that, it hasn't been super strong. I think it probably works a bit better in summer, maybe when the sun's stronger. But I've come out in midday to try and get like the peak amount of sun. Again, it's a little bit cloudy, but there is some sun coming that direction. So I might just stay out for a couple hours and see if that might help to like get a lot of the sunshine onto my hair and see if that might help to lighten it. And hopefully we might start to see a bit more of a change. It's sunny today! Ah, I'm so happy, it's been cloudy the past two days, so I'm like, I don't know how effective it's been. But it looks like it's actually maybe lightening it now. Like in some s tricks of the light, it looks like my hair's like lightened a little bit, which I'm really excited about. So I've just refilled my bottle because it was almost empty. I'm going to spray it on again and sit here for a good two hours. So I thought maybe if I sit here longer, because it's not summer, so the sun isn't as strong. So maybe in summer you only need to sit there for 15 minutes, but because in winter it's less strong. I'm going to sit out here for longer, so I thought I'd sit out here for two hours, enjoy the sun, get some vitamin D, and hopefully lighten my hair, and it's super greasy, I know. It needs to be washed tonight. So I'll spray this on, leave it on for a couple hours, and I'll probably go wash it. So let's do this. I'll try and do this one-handed with my left hand. Too. I've started spraying it outside because every time I spray it inside, my family goes convulses with the strong smell of apple cider vinegar so I've started doing it outside. That way it doesn't put all the apple cider vinegar fumes inside. One tasty English muffin. Fluttering angle I know. <laughs> Getting that low shot. Join me, hello! She's gonna have 
gonna get that lovely smell of apple cider vinegar. She's gonna come look pretty. She'll make herself comfy on the on the towel. Oh, hello! I have a little friends. Mm. Do you want to lighten your hair with apple cider vinegar? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm good. Mwah. Thank you for coming to say hello. Mm. Bye. Thought I'd do a bit of sun tanning, get a bit of some vitamin D on my skin while I'm outside. Just position myself so that it's got the best sunlight on my hair. And this is the final, I guess, product of doing the apple cider vinegar rinse for the week. Now, I must say, it's not as light as I thought it might go. But then again, it's also winter, so the sun isn't as strong, like I said earlier in the week. And I think I need to stay out there for longer, because the sun isn't as strong. So if I was doing this, I'd stay out there for two hours rather than just an hour, which I was doing towards the end. But I'm actually pretty happy because it got a little bit lighter. Like in some sections, you can see it kind of got a little bit tinted, especially the bottom. Got a little bit lighter, which was great. So I got some result from it. So I guess if you kept doing this for longer, or if you did it in summer when the sun is stronger, it would be much more effective. I'm just actually quite happy with how it turned out. Some lovely light bits in my hair. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to keep the going with this actually um, over the next few weeks just to do it lighter. Um, I presume that if I kept going, as I will be doing, just consistently going out there and sitting outside in the sun, it would just get lighter and lighter. So I might get some highlights, hopefully, coming through in my hair, which will be great. Oh, it's more dark at the top, but as you get to the bottom, it works out much better. At the back. It's not as light as I thought it would be, but it still had some result on it. And because it's winter, I'm actually quite impressed because the sun isn't as strong. Even though I was sitting out there in midday, like, still not as strong as it would be in summer. So in summer, I imagine if I do this, it'll be much more noticeable so I'll try again in summertime. I'm just happy that there was any noticeable change at all which I'm just really happy about. <laughs> oh, looks so good. But I'll be sharing some more natural hair dyes, hair lightening tips with you guys in future so I'm really excited about that so do stay tuned. Today's huge, huge, huge shout out goes to Simple Life in Vegas. Thank you so much for commenting and watching my armpit detox video. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It's crazy how there's so many of those ingredients in our conventional deodorants that we would not actually know about and like how they affect our body. I found that was the most interesting thing and was one of the biggest reasons why I switched over to using a natural deodorant. Thank you so much for commenting and for watching and for being such a support. Thank you everyone for your support and your love. It means so, so much to me. More than words can describe. I'm just so grateful for you, all of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Fingers crossed. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye.